just about time to take a run inspired by nature. And in fact, it's all about nature conservation. Anthony's live at Triangle Hill in Green Bay, where they're about to run for the hill of it. Good morning. Hey, Lisa, we've still got uh, several days before Run for the Hill of It does uh, get going again. That's going to be a week from this Saturday, uh, officially October 13th, and that is early in the morning. So you want to be up and at them that morning. We're going to talk to Holly Baseman. She is the executive director for the Baird Creek Preservation Foundation. They are the ones that put this run on. Run for the Hill of It. Tell me about it, Holly. Yeah, so this will be our sixth year again that we're doing the Run for the Hill of It, and we're going to have the kids run again this year at 845 in the morning. Adult run at 9 o'clock. Uh, run, walk, bring your dog, walk, w whatever you want to do, get out here, support us. We appreciate it. All the funding from this event goes back into the Greenway, trail signage, maintenance, all those kinds of things. Holly, just talking to you this morning, too, you wanted to remind everybody that it's not just a run, also a walk, and that kind of plays a factor in getting as many people out here as you can because maybe some people think it's not a walk. Right, and I think people, you know, see a run in the title, but yeah, we, we definitely want people to come out and support us. So if you don't feel like running it, come out and walk, and like I said, bring your dog, walk your dog, and uh, just get some good fresh air exercise and, and enjoy the fall colors. Hey, tell me about some of the trails, though, that uh, people will encounter when they come to this run. It's pretty sizable here at Bear, Bear Creek. Yeah, so 500 acres is the entire greenway. There's about eight miles of trails. Um, we don't make you run the whole eight miles. It's only a 3.1, a 5K. Um, you'll do a little bit on the paved trail, but most of it is on the unpaved trails throughout the Greenway. So a good trail run. Yeah, very good. And the foundation that puts this on, the Baird Creek Preservation Foundation, why don't you uh, speak a little bit about that, tell me what you guys do. Yeah, so we take care of the 500 acres out here and just try to keep a good balance between nature and recreation and wildlife and people, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I remember from being down into more of the, the shrubbery and uh, the, the trails in previous years, uh, you guys had been doing work back there to kind of clean things up. Is that still ongoing? Yeah, I mean, we're always doing what we can to keep it clean, but also doing what we can to improve the greenway for the community's use and uh, really looking at in the next while getting some updated trail signage out here, looking at doing possibly a biking skills course. And uh, we rolled out summer camps this last year. So always looking at ways that we can just get the community involved in taking care of such a great place. Excellent. Holly, let's focus more on the run one more time, though. At the bottom of the hill, the base of Triangle Hill, that is where it begins. Though you don't come up the hill initially, that'll be at the end of the run. So where do you go with this? Yeah, so you start at the bottom of the hill and you'll run out on, uh, like I said, the unpaved trail for a while, the paved trail for a bit, and then you loop back and, and finish with the best, I always say, up the hill. And over three miles. <laughs> yes, so 3.1. How, how long would you say it takes maybe, or the fastest person? When, when are they in? Uh, the fastest person is usually a bit under 20 minutes. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's pretty impressive. It so is. if you do walk it, it's going to take a heck of a lot longer. <laughs> right, right. But you get to enjoy the fall colors longer. Yeah, very good. And <laughs> yeah, we're noticing that, too. If Ryan wants to show some of these trees out here, I didn't even realize it so much until I got uh, out to Baird Creek this morning. But uh, changing of the colors. As far as registering, though, where do you want to go for that? Yeah, they can just go to the website, BairdCreek.org, and register online there. Very good. Thirty dollars that'll be. You get a T-shirt and uh, registration. You come the day before, if I recall, right? Um, you can register online and pick up a your packet. yeah packet the night before or the morning of. Either. Okay, sounds good. Holly yeah. Basement, Executive Director, Baird Creek Preservation Foundation. Next segment, we're gonna head over to the hill. It's gonna be time to run. Lisa Mullane, we got more coming up in just a bit. You got a half hour to warm up. <laughs> good fundraiser. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. Let's.